What is going on, you Night the Clans here, back in your life, some more Minecraft. I was just doing a little exploring of Ocean's Gate here, and I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. Oh, Ocean Monument out there, man, it is steep. So I wandered back here, I started working on the second level of this thing, and I done run out of acacia, and because the environment is so... What are you looking at? It's a terrifying place. Well, he's right above my house. Little TNT monster. All right. Um, yeah, so I need to find a place to either plant some acacia or harvest some. And I figured I'd see if I could plant first. But you know what? Oh, god darn it. This is an embarrassment. There we go. There. What? Where's the staircase? I just built a freaking staircase. There we go. So I climbed up here. I don't see... I don't see us getting what we need from this spot. Uh, I mean, I could plant, I might as well plant a couple out here. And I think I did pick up a couple bones, to be honest, in all the dying that I did last episode. So let's, uh, let's go here, here, and here. Oh, and here. Maybe we'll convince a tree to build itself. Uh, and then, here is our little house. I've decked it out a little bit. I should finish that ceiling. Yeah, I definitely should finish that ceiling. I'm just gonna do a little rush job on it for the night. And uh, here we go. And I did stairs right here. You can do them facing anyway, and then you can place a thing like this. I don't know if I can sleep in that bed though. This would be interesting. Has night fallen? Oh yes, it has. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Yeah. I bet there are. Uh, monsters nearby. Do you think it's the guy directly above me? Usually when I get that message, I just try and... Yeah, I don't have much of a front lawn. Uh, you think it's the guy directly above? Because I'm going to have trouble killing him. Usually when I get that message, I go and hunt down whoever's ruining my sleep, but... That'll be... I hear a zomboid. Whoa, you scared the crap out of me, buddy. Yeah, he's... I mean... Could be these monsters, but I think it's got to be him. He's closest to the bed. Why don't we go and try and knock him off the ledge? This will be a fun adventure. I'm going to try and um, parkour or mountaineer my way up there. Oh, All right, geeks, we're back. I'm going to work my way. Well, where? Yeah, I can get up there, can I? I'm going to try it. Whew. All right, guys. Um... So I wouldn't have mentioned it off the top of this one uh, because I thought I was going to have one, but no face cam. Uh, let's try it out. We'll see how it goes. My new camera is extremely temperamental and it's giving me an ulcer. Uh, so screw it. Uh, I have parkoured my way pretty, pretty well. Oh, Lord. Lord heavens, no. Oh, what did I do? Just as soon as you start bragging, you know, the clans, you fall off a fricked up cliff. All right, so here we are. That is the guy that is ruining my sleep. He is giving me insomnia, and I must deal with him. A living nightmare, you might say. So I'm hoping the fall kills him, and look, since I left, his fricked up buddy has joined the... Okay, I want to get close and knock him off, but without blowing myself up. Yes! Did I do it? Are you dead? Are you dead? Oh, my base is infested. Yes, he's dead. I've killed him. Killed him with my own two hands. And now, well, uh -huh. well, it's time to eat anyway, right? Some of this delicious mutton. We'll heal up. I can make this fall. I can make this fall. And then this last one's going to be a bit of a doozy. What's the old joke? That last step's a bit of a doze. Um, okay, I got a plan for this. Ready? You guys are going to be very impressed. Oh, Right? Ready? Never dig straight down. Well, unless you know what's under you. Mm. You know, I shouldn't be jumping straight down. There are zomboids over there. Uh, I'm healed up. Sort out. Let's get ready to brawl. Okay, homeboys? Yes! 
Come here. Come here, boy. Yeah, run away. See you later, buddy. Whoa, your friend. Quick, quick little. Ready, ready, get critted. I didn't, I did jump, but. All right, that was a dominant performance by me. And now, as much as I want those orbs, I don't want to fall back down there. That's cool. We'll do it. Ready? Fix that tomorrow. No surprises. No surprises. Hey, a tree grew. Hey, Skelly. We need a bow. We need a bow. Bad. I've got two string, but I was thinking of using it on a fishing rod because I'm running out of mutton, and uh, I want to eat like a, like a true king, like a man among men. I don't want to be gobbling on mutton. That's a peasant's food. Fine, the finest sushi. That is what I demand from the sea. Exquisite fruit de mer. Just seafood in French, I think. It means fruit of the sea. Yeah. Yeah, come on, boy. Get chopped on your head. On your butt. Get chopped up. Drop a bow. Drop a bow for me. I beg of you. All right. Let's get inside here. Stupid. Remember to put your dang phone on silent. You know what I'm saying? I just looked at my non-existent face cam. Oh, God. All right. Back into the night we go. Actually. Yeah, that's cool. Back into the night we go. I suppose... Oh, yes, there is a monster nearby. Indeed, there is. Get out of my... Oh, we got a cave right here. Sick! Wow. My voice just made a funny noise. You know, the more time you spend on camera, before I go fight this thing, the more time you spend on camera and on a microphone, the more confident you get. And sometimes you'll watch yourself and you'll think, man... I'm getting more and more charismatic by the day. And then you will listen to yourself say something like, Oh, we got a cave here. That's sick! And then you go, Man, Like I ever thought I, I sounded good on a microphone. Oh, sick Spider-Man! Let's kill him! We got a whole sick cave full of coal! Are you annoyed yet? I'm annoyed at myself. Oh, beautiful! Look at this! Look! See? Look! Look at this! Holy crap! God, stop doing that. Use a strong, confident, manly radio voice. The good news is it's morning. I'm gonna try and get back to our house and sleep. Oh, what is with this spider parade? Get wrecked. Get messed up. Get punched in the dang face. I used to be so bad at this move. Now watch. Yells! The smoothest, smoothest of movers. Try and sleep. Dang. All right, then. Um, okay. Oh, good. Tree it up. We'll keep planting trees. And then, you know what? While I've got you guys here, I'm, I'm kind of working out the design as I go. I mentioned that last time. but Can I build a tree all the way up here? By the way, you don't build trees, dum-dum. You plant them. You plant saplings and trees grow forthwith from whence they came. Upon the... That's, I'm out of fancy old English words. Okay. So, here's the inside. The outside, I just kind of... What's the correct term? Free balling? I'm just figuring it out as I go, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll go up four. That's my new game plan. And then work your way right along the interior. Go all the way down here until we can no longer go. I don't, I haven't figured out what to do with that yet, but then we'll go back this way. And I'll chop down that tree from the top down. The way a man chops a tree. Because you guys know, if you've ever seen a lumberjack at work, what they do is they climb to the very top and then they start chopping. Not entirely accurate. Hmm. Now, I know Minecraft is a very clever game, but is this going to think it's part of a tree still? 
can't remember if I placed that there or if the tree placed that there. Whatever, if so, oh no, it's good. It's deteriorating, dying slowly and horribly. Boom. And I, I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this corner like that for the time being. We'll be built slightly in. And no, no easy way to get down. Nothing I can do about that. I think this will be the floor level. And then uh, we'll do basically what we did down there. So we'll go up. We'll fill this gap all the way up. Uh, but one back from where it was. And that will actually leave us... Uh, maybe we'll be able to raise the roof on the lower level because... We we'll get a gap here, and it does need to be filled because that doesn't look good. I wonder the best way to fill it though. I'll uh, again, I'll free ball if that's the appropriate term. I'll fill this in and I'll come back to you guys. Welcome back, geeks. If you're building against a mountain like I am, and you leave a big dangerous space like that, fill it with light. Do not let bad guys spawn in there. So throw those in and then this is what she looks like on the outside I feel like that's a pretty good start I love the three dimensions to it when we did it uh, a bit sort of a similar build at uh, the archipelago which is a seed spotlight I did we did um, sort of like Tudor style cross beams where you go one two three and then maybe one two three you know what I mean just sort of a diagonal spices it up a bit we could definitely add some windows to this um, but here's how she's looking right now, and I kind of like it. Oh, we're building trees all up in the house. All up in the house, a thing people say. As for interior space, it's kind of interesting. So uh, we've got this little 3x3 three three area down here. Up here, we're 5x5, five five, and I'm not quite sure how to divide this space between floors yet. Do I put a half block down here and have a very cramped lower floor, or maybe even... You know, you could do a half block right here or right here uh, because we're going to have a roof up in the top of this thing too. I think I'm going to go, mm, creepy bastards. I think I'm going to go with an A-frame. Uh, so like sort of a, an, yeah, an A-shaped roof. You don't need further explanation than that. Uh, I think we got to keep tweaking the uh, interior. Um, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can gather up some more uh, acacia and maybe lay out a frame for the roof. Uh, I'll come back to you guys with that. These caves are cool. We've got a couple little spots to look out. This one's like huge. It's like a big picture window, and all you see is ocean. Hence the name of this place. Huh. I will say our, our house is not the safest yet. I mean, I'll sort that roof out in the morning, but it's night. I'm going to try and sleep. It works. It works. Cool little cubby bunk. I like that. Just ultimate, you know, in space-saving technology. So I have a new plan for you guys. Throw all this crap away, and we'll take these two things, and I'm going to get us a fishing rod. We're going to head down. Oh, come back here. Going to head down to the water down there. I'm going to try and do a little fishing. See if we can get a good view back at the house and see what that angle looks like. Oh, I forgot to knock a piece out. So I'll see you guys down in the water. It's really a freak fest down there, and I didn't remember that once we got rid of our waterfall thing, there's really no good way of getting up and down from here. This'll, this'll maybe do it. Oh, hello. I'm trying to get a chop job on your head. Come up here. Okay, ready? Ding! Give me a bow! Yes! Yes, he did! I left my arrows up at the house, though. That's cool. Come on, freak fest. Yeah, you're about to get chopped in the head, bro. Yes, right. 
Oh good, you let all your friends know. That's our old base over there. Oh, is there a way up here? Is there an There's no way up here. Your pathfinding skills are horrendous. You could have just easily jumped. Yep, see so ya. Yeah. Oh, I got a whole freak train coming my way now. Oh, that, never mind. His pathfinding skills are excellent. I didn't realize that was two blocks high. Come on, boy! Where's your third? Where's your freak friend? Oh, good, and you got a, a whole spawn of spider... Oh, good. This is a nightmare. Why did I think this would be a solid spot to build my first house? I'd be like, oh yeah, right under the arch. Right under the... Oh, broken sword. Broken sword. Broken sword. Uh... Okay. Oh. Go on. Get messed up. Get messed up on my axe, buddy. Okay, we're, we're, we're not that badly hurt. I'm gonna head this way, because I think it's much sunnier and there are fewer freaks. But that's a terrible idea, because I can't see the A-frame of the house from out there like I can from out here. Might as well slap dunk a couple torches. Zombie gave me a carrot, just in the nick of time. Okay. Now. Now. Now we fish. Like men. Looking for a good fishing standing spot. Hmm. Let's go on the far side of the bay there. Alright, here we are, guys. In the bay of Ocean's Gate. This is the gate. It doesn't look like it from this angle, but I've shown it to you before. And that's our house right there. I think it's looking good. Now the one thing I would do is I think I want to set back, if I fill that arch in with oak like I did down here, I do want to set it back like I did on the layer below. So the upper, the up top part is go not going to be quite so spacious. Um, but man, this is a... Uh, it looks, looks pretty good. If those stupid acacia leaves would despawn, I know I made my house out of that, but get lost. So I'll go chop those down. Hey, I don't even know how you move around. How am I ever going to get up there? I need ladders and tunnels and whatnot. But yeah, I'm just going to wind this one down with some peaceful fishing. Hopefully we have a permanent food source now. I'm going to light up this little landing here so that there aren't quite so many skellies. Um, and guys, I'm starting to feel at home in the gate. We're gonna have a home by- YES! Salmon! Delicious! So delicious, I'm just gonna eat it. Raw. Perfect. I'm gonna give myself one more cast out here. Geeks, I should say thank you so much for watching this episode of my Minecraft Let's Play Survival Solo Single Player World from Ocean's Gate, live from Ocean's Gate. I just want to say thank you for watching. I am Unite the Clans, and I will see all you geeks in the next episode of Mime.